Sometimes I think of myself as a little house. You can gaze upon me and admire what you see from the outside, but what if you peered in the windows? What if I actually let you in? What if you got a glimpse of the basement? You're not always seeing me. You're sometimes seeing what I let you see. We decide what takes center stage in our home. And we decide what stays locked away in the basement. So much of what I presented to the world for so long was a house filled with other people's stuff. Gifts, some I wanted, most I didn't. Things I inherited, things passed down to me, occupying space within me without me even realizing it. So much that accumulates in our home isn't ours. Even my name was given to me by someone, right? And so much stuff was in the proverbial basement too. Things I didn't want to deal with or face. Parts of me I had buried when I was told they were too much. Shame I had buried when I felt I wasn't enough. Grief that felt too much to feel. I relegated whole memories, whole pieces of me to the basement. I buried a lot down there to fit into the world, to adapt, to please, to hide, to be accepted, to be loved, to survive. And for decades, that basement felt really far away, like controlled, locked down. There was no going in or out. It was out of sight, out of mind. We're told to kind of keep moving, right? Don't dwell, push it down, buck up, buttercup. Shut the door and run, throw away the key. Never look back, what's in the past is past. But is it really? It is nearly impossible to move when you have more stuff accumulated than you know what to do with. It's paralyzing, overwhelming, suffocating. It's why people keep their family homes for decades and then pass it all on, filled with crap, to their kids. Because it feels like it's too much to deal with. You're stuck there. When you leave your house in disarray, boxes upon boxes in the basement, and you never deal with them, face them, you never open them up and examine them, someone else is left with your mess. What you don't deal with in this lifetime, what you leave in your basement unexamined, your kids will have to face it. And you are affected every day too without even realizing it. Scattered, fragmented, pulled in a million directions, anxious, maybe hurting. Things all over the place, always in different places, unable to find peace in your own home. When you lock your basement up tight, the things down there aren't actually that far away. They're right there within you. They're right downstairs. They're not in the past because they still shape every single thing you do. And what energy it takes to keep it all down. What a waste of our power. How exhausting. As a change in season comes nearer, let's do a little spring cleaning. What parts of you are ready to come out of the basement. What's down there on a little shelf that's keeping you stuck and un unable to move? What needs to get the hell out of your house? What have you been holding on to for decades that doesn't belong anymore? Your home is talking to you. Listen, I guarantee you there are treasures in your basement that should be front and center in your house. And there are things occupying prime real estate in your home that you don't actually want there. This is how stagnant energy starts to flow. This is how you make space within your home for more things that give you life and remove things that suck the life out of you. It is so much easier to lock the basement door and go out into the world to find yourself. I did it for decades but you're all right here already. You're all right here already. 
things are just cluttered, unorganized, messy, in the wrong places in your home. Unlock the basement door. Open a window. Let air flow in places you've never allowed it to reach. Let the dust swirl. Let the wind shift things around. And maybe just don't go out today, looking for something else to add to the mix. Stay home. Get your house in order.